It is officially fall, so let's get into it. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mansa, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to turn a regular box cake mix into a delicious orange cranberry spiced cake. You heard that right. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. <laughs> For today's recipe, I'm going to be using my Duncan Hines yellow cake mix. And I'm going to start off by sifting it just to get rid of any lumps. And it just helps to aerate the, um, the flour mixture. I always like to do this process for the box cake mixes. And sometimes I just do it behind the camera. So this is what it looks like. Once I get all of those lumps out, just pour it back in. And now to the fun part, we're going to spice up this baby. Now, my choice is today, I'm going in with some ground allspice, some ground nutmeg, and also some ground cloves. You can use um, pumpkin spice, you could use cinnamon powder, use spices of your choice. These are my choices today. I love the taste that it brings, and I always use more of the allspice than the others. Again, a written list of all the ingredients used today will be in my description box below. So that's our dry ingredients and we'll move on to the wet ingredients. In another bowl, I'm going to start off. So the back of the box does request for um, a cup of water, but I'm not doing that today. I'm using a cup of orange juice. No milk today. It's going to be different, but so delicious. Now, something different again. I'm not going to be using instant pudding mix i'm just using the regular jello in orange flavor this is gonna add so much flavor y'all so that was a big box so you only need half of that which is about three ounces that's all you need so that added that to my orange juice just to dissolve it and now here i am i'm gonna put that on the side and we will move on the box requests for three eggs, and I always like to add an extra egg for that, you know, extra richness that it brings. I like to just break up the eggs, you know, whisk it a little bit so it's easier for me to whisk everything together. If you guys are enjoying this video, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. All right, so the next process I'm going to be adding here, two-thirds cup of melted butter instead of the oil on the back of the box, okay? That is going to add so much flavor. You know, butter adds so much flavor. And by the way, it is unsalted butter. I use unsalted butter so that I can control the salt in the recipe because the box already contains salt. To that, I will be adding a healthy splash of vanilla extract and, of course, more orange flavor. I have this really good McCormick orange um, extract that I like to use as well. So we're adding those so perfect y'all at this time It's already smells so good. Now it's time to mix our dry and wet ingredients Together per usual I am going in with my hand mixer to beat this on low speed for about 30 seconds And then I will bump up the speed to medium high and mix it for an additional two minutes Just the same way that the box cake instructs this is when I like to follow the rules. Apart from that, I don't not follow the rules. I make my own rules, okay? <laughs> All right, now I was just trying to be adventurous and added a little bit of orange um, food coloring. You do not need to do that, okay? That was just me. I just wanted more of that pop of orange. So I added some food coloring. Again, you do not need it. Scrape down the sides of your bowl with a spatula. And now it is time to add our cranberries. I was only able to find dry cranberries, but I love it so much. It is so delicious. I was just snacking on it. And I used about um, half a cup of it. You can add up to half a cup or use less or use more, depending on your preference, okay? So once I got that measured out, just dump it in your batter. And all you're going to do is simply fold it in gently because at this point, you don't want to go mixing rigorously because you're just going to overmix and overwork that batter. So yeah, just put it in there. And then, y'all, the most important part, do not miss this step. You got to zest up this baby. I always, always mention it in a lot of my videos. Look for something that you can use to zest this up. You could use orange, you could use a lemon, you could use lime. But since this is an orange cake, of course we're using orange. So I used the zest of one whole orange and I was so generous with it. Once this cake hits the oven, it's just going to be so divine, smells so good and enhances that taste naturally so don't miss out on it so now it is time to pour 
uh, batter and I'm always gonna go in with a baking spray into my bun pan since this is a bun cake and make sure that you're getting all those nooks and crannies because this is a bun pan so it has a lot of ridges right so make sure that you're getting your brush all in there that way your cake can slide out nicely and not get stuck now it's time to pour the batter into a prepared um, bun pan and by this time i have already preheated my oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit you know how we do it girl pop it drop it release extra air bubbles and i also like to do this part it is purely optional i like to drizzle more cranberries on the top because remember we're gonna flip this cake around right so i want to have cranberries all through so yeah i just threw some in there and it is now time to go to the oven as you can see my favorite part you guys if this is your first time on this channel you are absolutely welcome and i hope you're enjoying this video now this is 40 minutes later and this is our cake isn't that perfect it is so beautiful so gorgeous and it smells so divine absolutely so now i have let it rest and cool down completely um i am gonna go ahead and flip it um onto my tray that i'm gonna be using today Yo, this is gonna come out so perfect. Look at that, so clean. This is the most satisfying part. I always love it when I make my cakes come out nice and clean, okay? So this is what it looks like. You can see it makes that beautiful crust and you can see those cranberries all through the cake. All right, so we're gonna move ahead and make a very simple orange glaze. In this cup, I have one cup of powdered sugar that I already sifted. And to that, I'm gonna be adding some orange juice again no milk and also some um, orange extract that's what i'm using today i don't usually do vanilla extract because i feel like the powdered sugar already tastes like vanilla i ended up using two tablespoons of um the orange juice a little under two tablespoons so just go for the consistency you want i wanted something really really thick that i can pour over and let it harden up so this is what it looks like and also i would like to know what are some of those favorite holiday maybe not even holiday what are some of those favorite fall comfort foods or recipes that your family likes to make more like a family tradition feel free to share in the comment section below i always always love to hear from you guys and it also gives me a lot of ideas. You guys don't even know what you guys are doing for me, okay? We learn from each other and I'm loving that. So this is what it looks like. I let it hard enough for at least 15, 20 minutes. And y'all, this is what it looks like. It just has the natural drip. And y'all, can you see how we're cutting it? This cake is so moist. No, no milk, absolutely. And it's so, so moist. You will love it. This is what it looks like. Y'all know I like to cut a generous slice because i know y'all always like it you always put in the comment section i i like that your slices are not stingy no honey i am not stingy with my food i share and i share generously so this is what it looks like on the inside a really nice crumb on the inside and a really bomb texture on the outside mm -mm -mm. love it i would love for you guys to try it try it with other box cake mixes i have not but let me know how it turns out for you and until i catch you with my next one stay warm stay cozy i love you all